Dude, 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 listen, listen, listen. It's pretty much, it's pretty much pizza. This is pretty much pizza, okay? Flatbread is pizza, but like rectangular. So whoever uh, suggested pizza down below, I think, you know, someone actually did post that. I'm going to, I, I'm going to complete that goal today. Because this is pretty much pizza. Alright. Oh, that's that's nice. Was it better than Jolie's pizza? Because uh, she, she, she dropped a bunch of her ingredients on the ground. And put it back in the pan and stuff. You know, I, I saw that earlier. Disgusting. I mean, technically, we're making our own sauce, right? Well, it's not really a sauce, because, like, you know, like, I I'm not making marinara, because, uh, you know, uh, with flatbread, you don't really have to. But it's gonna be sort of, you know, a sauce, I feel like. There is square pizza, and then there's thin pizza, and there's flatbread. Or... Or there is square pizza, thin pizza, and rectangular pizza, you know? Is this a new camera? It's it's not. It's a different angle. Um, I have a camera up here. I used to have it, like, um, on the side. But, um... The camera is buggy, isn't it? It's, it's, uh... It's fucked up. <laughs> it's motion blur. Here, I'll try something, actually. it on a different setting um i i don't know it's um also the lighting it, yeah it has like auto uh brightness contrast setting or something i think it's a little bit better yeah it's not like going all over the place anymore right it, it looks better all right i'll keep it like that I had it on a setting where it's supposed to track my face, but like, you know, I thought that would be like a better mode, but apparently this one is better for some reason. I have no idea why. It's still doing what? It's not doing... It, it's like... It does it a little bit just because like when I move around, like the lighting changes, right? And I'm wearing white, so it definitely doesn't help. It's it's how DSLRs function, you know, they're assholes. Uh, but since you spent that much money, uh, you know, they're they're superior cameras. Alright. Alright, so that that here's our recipe, by the way. Every plate again. I think next week uh, I'm gonna do the last like cooking stream for a while because like I'm kind of getting tired and I want to go out and eat you know so like I'm just gonna go out to places and stream that wait so you're yeah I'm making a rectangular pizza see F-L-A-T-B-R-E-A-D-S Spells pizza. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll flip it back. Um, check it out. You know, a lot of words, a lot of words, blah, blah, blah. It's stupid. I don't know why they think a lot of words makes this easier. But um, I have the oven on preheat, so we'll have that ready. And then I have this sheet. And all of our ingredients seem to be right here. So, um, this is zucchini. Why are you putting zucchini on a pizza? I have no idea. 
Um, it's gonna be mozzarella, of course. This is our pizza dough. Uh, some cream cheese. Do people put cream cheese on pizza? It's, it's, uh, that's also kind of, eh, I don't know. Garlic, okay. Italian seasoning. Chili flakes, okay. That's also an okay. Uh, garlic powder is also okay. So there's some questionable ingredients in here, I think. But everything else seems fine. So we'll see how it turns out. I'm gonna put this here. Can we get a ping in the... Um... Yeah, I'm working on a Discord. I don't want to ping Ocean because, uh... It's not mine. It's like, you know, kind of everyone's. So I'm actually gonna make a Discord and then have, um... Have benefits, I guess. A restaurant stream. I guess, I don't know, like... There's, there's a... There's a lot of restaurants opening up now. Well, I guess they should be already open. Um, yeah, so uh, I kind of want to go eat somewhere. This is not the last stream for a while. It's, um, I think, because of how the ordering works, I'm pretty much locked in for next week. So we'll do another stream um, next week for cooking, but then after that I want to take a break from, you know, cooking streams and then just do, um, eating streams, more like, I guess. Setting up. Yeah, it's mostly like the bots and stuff, because I, I, I don't, um, I don't code and stuff, so, you know, I don't know how bots work. Hire all the eating streams, pretty much. Uh, it's basically mukbang time. All right. Um, let's see, zucchini first, right? Some tomato. Oh, jolly, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I swear, like, she better have somewhere in her resume, uh, where it says she's a Discord admin for multiple, uh, servers. To have your cutting board like that. Uh, yeah, cause it can tip and stuff, you know? But, uh, it's the only way I can put it in the center where everything's at and if i cut myself well you know that's content all right how do they want to chop the tomatoes into slices it looks like Okay, then I'll do half here, and then I'll do slices like this way, I think. Yeah, that slices. Big slices, I'll chop them thinner, actually. Once they're chopped, they just become soft. Eh, this will work. Fuck it. I like things thick. Dude, these gnats won't go away. Like, I've been having this huge issue. And I've been throwing away the trash every day, but like they're all over the place. Hold on. Work, work. It's time. 
Time for a killing spree. I got this. Come on, come out. Like, if I wave it around, it should uh, just get one of them. They don't fall in the food. Surprisingly, they don't really touch the food at all. They're just interested in the trash. Because they're trashy creatures of the earth, after all. Put this down. All right, we'll continue. All right, tomato is done. And then zucchini, zucchini like half moons, okay. But if they do fall in the uh, food, then it's just extra protein, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm sticking to my stereotypical, uh, you know, like, like what you'd expect from a guy like me. They're not. They're like, they're normal. I can show you what thick looks like. I've done them like super thick before. No, I'm, um, it's a strategy because, uh, you know, like, the larger stuff you eat, the, oh, Jolie's here, I'm not gonna say it then. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright. Pizza, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? You know what? You know what? If I drop one of these on the ground, it's going in the trash can. It's not going back into the pan or whatever. All right, so a uh, baking sheet, right? Uh, well, there's, there's one more ingredient, actually, garlic. H how much garlic do they want me to do? Place cloves. They, they 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 said cloves. Four cloves. Damn! Holy shit! That's a lot of garlic. That game was cat. Was it your first time? Oh, it was your first time playing. Wait, why did you want to play that game in the first place? Four, they said four cloves. It literally says. I'll, I'll read it. So they have uh, two serving and four servings. So on the two serving, which is what I have, four cloves. Five second rule. Yeah, but her her shit was on the ground for like 30 seconds before she picked it up. And then she put it straight back in the pan. Yeah, I, that's that's also one of the reasons why I want like a cutter so that uh, I don't have to go through this shit every single time. I was playing. Uh... Yeah, yeah, for the for the what what the 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 the. the, the... 
the omelet thing that you made. Like, basically that whole thing dropped on the floor. Overcooked too. I'll put this in here so that I have more room. Mandolin. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I want to get one, and they had some cheap ones on Amazon, except for the fact that some of the reviews were saying that that cheap one. Um, so it's got a lot of plastic. So uh, apparently, like when it chops, you can kind of see bits and pieces of the plastic in the food or something. Yeah, nasty. Yeah, gotta get a good one. Maybe, maybe this is a reason why my arm isn't recovering fast, is because I keep using it. Alright, so... I know it's still early because, uh, you know, uh... Restaurant stream is still like two weeks away, but you guys can go ahead and search in the Austin area if you want, if you want to request that I go to a specific place and I'll go there. Preferably not something that is nasty that'll make me go sick because you know. It's for the stream, so it's gotta look uh, nice. Area code. Uh, there's multiple area codes in Austin. I'm willing to go to pretty much anywhere that, as long as it says like, you know, in the Austin area. Um, I'm probably okay with American spicy level. Uh, anything like that would be spicy to a Chinese person would probably not go well. I mean, I'm working on it, like, you know, I'm improving little by little, but like, if I ever went on the show Hot Ones for the chicken wings, like, I'd fail on maybe like the fourth wing or something, probably. Caroline, oh my gosh, you're evil. Texans wouldn't do that to one another, would they?
what type of uh, place are you looking for? Like what what kind of cuisine? Because there's not a lot of great uh, Chinese places around here. I'm just gonna tell you that straight up facts. Like if it says four out of five stars on Google, it's not good. Because I've been to those. Jason says that he will try out the food with you if you ask. <laughs> he probably would. That's the thing. He'd probably be okay with it. He'd be like, oh, what's this? It's nothing. This is fine river. Oh my gosh. Fuck you. <laughs> I already know. When you hear that word, you know it's spicy. It's chopped finely enough, in my opinion. You can move on. But yeah, I, I, I'm gonna look that up actually right now. Uh, let me paste that. What word? Sichuan, yeah. They are known for their spicy food. Let me see. This one just says dry hot pot from South Austin Sichuan restaurant that wins the spicy award and jalapenos and chilies. Yeah. Sichuan River. Let me see where that is actually. Okay. Oh. It is a bit far away, but it's technically in Austin, so I would be willing to go there. But I, I will die, like, if I eat the food there. Um, you know what? I was not supposed to mince the garlic, but I'll make it work. I can make it work. <laughs> All right. Um, peel the garlic. Doo -doo 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 -doo, put it in a small foil. So, what is the garlic foil supposed to do? Um, keeping garlic foil on sheet. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Garlic powder. Once garlic is done, cutting roughly chop. It's still going on the pizza so like basically they had wanted me to keep them in the cloves um, put them in the oven so they become soft and then chop them but like it's basically the same thing it's just gonna be like crispy garlic on the pizza now like I, I, I think it's not really much of a difference all right let's do the let's do the pizza. So, with this, uh, I want a drizzle of olive oil. Is that Chris? Is it? Wait, what?
We'll do like a, we'll do like a little, um, the randomizer thing for the, for where I go. So all of you can submit like places. And if Jason's the only one that submits, well then, you know, then we're only going to go to the place that he chose. So, you know, if, if you guys want to save me from dying to spicy food, please. Thank you. All right. Um, zucchini on half, basically. I can basically put like the whole thing on oh, oh, it out. Spicy for the one. You guys are trying to kill me. Alright. Uh, pepper, yes, probably. Ooh, also the Italian seasoning, okay. So we're putting multiple spices on this. Italian seasoning. They make these so hard to open. There we go. Uh, the whole thing? Two teaspoon. How much is this? One one tablespoon. Uh Alexa, how many teaspoons are in one tablespoon? One tablespoon is three teaspoons. So why would you give me so much? Like you're setting me up for failure, every plate. That's essentially two. Um, let's let's use this thing. I should do the garlic foil. Let's go. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm concerned about the garlic uh, having a weird texture if we don't do it this way. So. a crap ton of garlic to put on a pizza, I think. What's that? Airport Boulevard. I know where that is. Garlic foil right here. 
Let's take a look. It's called... Ah, uh, how do you even say that? Copy. Paste. Alright. This ramen place. Delicious. Python. Oh, how do you. What the hell? Alright, let, let's take a look at some of the pictures. I wish I could pull this up on stream, but uh, I can't with the current setup. Alright, it looks like ramen. Pronunciate. How do you pronunciate that word? I'm gonna say it in the whitest way possible. Sazan Ramen. There you go. There's my pronunciate. Alright, uh, this is going in for 12 minutes. Roast on top rack. Gotcha. Alright, 12 minutes, so right now it's 731, which means in 12 minutes it's gonna be around um, 743. Crap, has it been 30 minutes already? Damn, camera turns off. We should be back. Yes, we are. All right. So that's just to cook the zucchini. Um, and then we'll need to take the zucchini out once that's done and put the flatbreads in. All right. I mean, sounds easy enough, this kind of recipe. I don't, I don't know why it was giving Jolie such a hard time. Shrug. Alright, uh, ooh. Guess what? <laughs> I'm just making sure she's still here. Um, guess what? Today's a butter day. I get to use my favorite ingredient. Oh my gosh, so wonderful. Okay. I use the small pan, actually. So I'm going to need one tablespoon of my favorite ingredient while this is heating up. And then one tablespoon of flour, garlic powder and the remaining Italian seasoning. Well, I am so glad I kept some of that. This recipe, always trying to trip me up. Oh, and they want me to whisk this inside the pan. Not to worry, I do have the device Here we are.
Nice pans. Thanks. These are uh, called Chef Style, made in Italy. So you know that it's higher quality than if it were made in America or China. Um, let's get the flour out while we're waiting on the zucchini. Where are we going to put the zucchini when it's done? And zucchini is transferred to a bowl with tomato tossed to combine. Well, okay. Very well. We put the tomato in a bowl. And we wait for zucchini. Uh, zucchini should be done, right? Yes. You said uh, it doesn't need to cook for that long. Um, does this look done to you guys? It really doesn't to me. It it looks like it's cooked, but it's like got no uh, browning at all. But then again, it will be going back in the oven, I believe. Let me see. Uh, yeah, it will be going back in the oven, so it's like, it's okay. So I, I will be putting this in there then. Alright. Sorry for having to change the camera angle again. We're back here. Crappy, stupid stand. Holy shit. Here we go. I don't care. You guys can see it, sort of. I should have used a spatula. It would be way easier to scoop this stuff up. Yeah, I forgot the pan's hot. It smells kind of fruity for some reason. Like when you toast like a... When you like uh, put a fruit in the oven and it has that kind of smell. But this is a vegetable, so it's like kind of weird. Alright, this is our garlic. is nice and moist and we'll sit here waiting to be used and then now uh wait are we uh, keeping the gar oh oops which will go back in the pan because it was supposed to stay there in the first place all right Flatbread. Uh, cooking off excessive oil. But I want to have oil on it, right? What? Don't you want to put oil on your flatbread? Wait, is this large enough? This is not large enough for both of them, unless I uh, take the garlic out. Okay, well, garlic's getting out of the... 
can't then. And then place, okay. And then garlic is softened. All right. Whatever. Just going back in. Top left. For a little bit of time. And then we have, we, we have our wonderful zucchini and tomato mixture here. All right, so while that's doing for about six minutes, that'll be 7.47, uh, we can do the butter and flour and everything else over here. Here we go. It's flour, not drugs, by the way. Wanted to clear any confusion of that. And the cream cheese, both of them, right?
Alright, it might be time to take the stuff out of the oven. here for a little bit. Yum. Yeah, I hope so. I'll season generously with salt and pepper. Very well. I don't want to put too much because uh, cream cheese is already kind of salty. Uh, where's my pepper? Oh, there it is. super hot and while this is kind of still uh, you know brewing it's time to pop this thing you don't need butter anymore say bye bye to butter wipe the excess in here Topping this, uh, let me get a hot spoon. Let's, uh, put the angle over here.
I think it'll be faster if I just do this. Then, um, roasted garlic, Add a little bit of that. So, I want to put this on as well. And then, what is that? It's, uh, well, what is pesto made out of? Because it's, it's a mixture of Italian seasoning, butter, uh, garlic powder, and some stuff. So if that's how you make pesto, then that's what it is. But, you know, they call it a uh, garlicky white sauce. Sprinkle with mozzarella, okay.
Am I using all of it right now, or do- oh shit. Do I want to save some of it? No. Use it all right now. It looks like. Pesto is olive oil and leaf, uh, green leaves, uh, so it's not quite. All right, so it's just going in, boiling. keep an eye on this because it's gonna be really really fast all right so while we're waiting on that let's clean up get ready to plate and do do a short one minute break I'm watching it. I have motion bl Oh crap. I don't know why it's doing that. It's it, it should be on the good settings. Oh shit. Some of it is burnt. Holy shit, that's really fast. Right back, guys. All right, test one, two. Okay, I thought everything decided to break down. All right, I fixed the situation. All you have to do is turn on the air filter, you know, on full blast, and uh, you know, that'll fix things. All right, I uh, just have to plate this now, right? You know what? It's uh, it's only part of it that looks bad. So uh, if I just cut the burnt parts off, then it's quite all right.
See, I was uh, I was looking at it through the oven window, and then I see this smoke coming out from on top of the stove, and I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" But. I'm gonna need my spoon again to hold it. They make this really hard to cut, by the way. Like with, um, I mean, I'm using a regular knife because obviously, you know, I don't have a pizza like cutter. Like, holy crap! settle with one piece for now because I want to eat so this piece actually looks really nice so I will be taking a picture probably not for Instagram though maybe I don't know it kind of looks nice enough that it can go on Instagram but I'm not using a good plate for this Back to this camera. Alright. Let's see how it tastes. Intro. 
interesting. Oh, I forgot the chili flakes, guys. I really like the sauce. Yeah, the vegetables are weird. Like, I feel like tomato and spinach would have been fine. Like, come on, shut up, shut up. Like, who put zucchinis on their pizza? Like, it just doesn't work, okay? The sauce, though, is kind of bomb. I wish I could have that kind of sauce on all of my pizzas. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, make sure you uh, send me your suggestions or um, which restaurants you want me to go visit in like two weeks. Uh, say from... <laughs> um, that is possible. You know, I, I already had one meetup already from a, a you know, Discord buddy. So, uh, you know, it's, a, it's, it's starting to happen, but, uh, yeah, I got two, so, uh, you know, wherever, uh, more, um, no, he was, um, he's, he was, uh, he lives in South Texas, so he, he drove, he was driving up to Minnesota to, uh, visit, uh, relatives, so he, uh, like, uh, you know, stopped by while he was driving. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. Bye bye See you next week. South Texas. Yeah. Well, you never know. Just don't kidnap me. Thank you. Bye.